Firstly, to our Kamatua, Moko and Sunny and our Kuiya Tanakoi, thank you very much for blessing both the site, the project and this occasion uh, this afternoon. Uh, Member of Parliament, Tim McIndoe. Tim's delighted today. This event allowed him to take time off from Parliament. They gave him permission to leave, so well done, Tim. My council colleagues, uh, Gordon and Joe and Roger and Daphne and Glenda and am I missing any that I haven't seen? Marika and Peter. And John. Okay, we've got all the bids in, I think. But anyway, thank you, team, for, uh, for coming along. Uh, thank you all, and I think that, uh, that this event has drawn so many people out, I think, uh, is an indication of how many people have been involved in this project and how many people whose hearts it has captured. Um, I have to most particularly recognise the two women who started all of this. I was, if I had the time, going to ask them how long ago it was because I can't remember which year exactly. But you know, we often get people say to us that uh, democracy doesn't really work and uh, making submissions to annual plans is a waste of time, politicians never listen, uh, and probably most of the time that may be true. But every now and then you get a submitter who comes along and makes a case for something that you hadn't even thought about, weren't aware of, you'd already set your plan pretty much in place, but they were so persuasive that in fact you felt you wanted to make changes to enable what they wanted to do to be achieved. And Christine and Margaret and their uh, hydro cheerleading team that turned up at our, our annual plan, I don't know, three, four, three, three years ago, um, uh, simply persuaded council that it was something that they wanted to do, that they created extra, extra space in the plan to uh, make a contribution, to get the design work started and to make a commitment of contribution um, uh, to this project. It's been a challenging project and for David and the Trust, uh, we know that you have worked very hard. We know you've done it under very trying circumstances, both with uh, a lot of competition in the marketplace uh, and also uh, moving more recently into times of recession where it is, it is genuinely just difficult to raise funds. And so on behalf of the community, I do thank the Trust and everybody who has worked with the Trust to, uh, to raise the funds that you've been able to. We know it's been hard work. It is very much appreciated. Um, indeed. So look, I just want to uh, simply be thanking those people, thanking everybody who has made a, con a contribution. As I said to somebody earlier, once you dig the ground, you can't turn back. So this is commitment time. This is going to happen. The building is going to be built and people are going to be able to have access to the service that so many people uh, need and have been short or un un unable to get within this community for too long. Uh, I would just like to recognise uh, one group though, and that's our Waterworld team. Um, I'm not sure many of you recognise it, but um, I guess you know this project passes into their hands, and I think it's important for you to understand how much they think this is an important project, and, and that's signified by the fact that 
They've made this event today a community contribution from the management of, of Waterworld. Rather than paying, taking money out of the funds that were available to turn on this afternoon, tea this afternoon, they put it together themselves. Uh, and uh, so I really do... I really do thank our staff team for making that decision. It wasn't a decision that anybody else asked them to do. It was a decision that they made. Uh, really do appreciate it, and I think it is a signal how much they recognise the significance of this event and how much value they put on it. And I think it means that this building and this facility is going to be put into good hands when they get uh, to start to operate and, and manage it. So with those few words, uh, I'd like to pass over to David Peart, the man who's had responsibility for raising the money.